You're not getting it if you don't stop crying. So he would literally cry for like 30 minutes. So every day I heard this. I thought it was a baby. I thought it was an itty bitty baby. So I was trying to like in my mind like it's just a baby. They go through that. They do that. I'm not going to worry about it. So about, I would say three months later, I'm looking out the window. I'm seeing all the kids get off the like school bus and they walking through the gated fence. And he walking with his little sister and his bigger brother. And I look, I look. The little boy probably was like about seven years old. Maybe eight. The child was a big boy. And I said, mm, okay. He cried a lot. So, one dad was in the garage. And I was on my way leaving, waiting for anything. The little girl come walking past. And the little boy chased her. And because he couldn't catch up with her, he stood right there and he said, ah. And he's looking at me while I'm looking at him. He's like, ah. And I'm like, and I try not to sweat my eyes, but I was just like, All the way on. So I figured, oh, okay, 
she's gonna take them to the park because where we lived at had a big giant park, big old lake. It had a, um, a bunch of stores, a bunch of fast food. I actually lived in a place where all the fast food was around me. I really didn't have to travel to get fast food. I just did it because I started to feel like people knew who I was when I would pull up. So I would travel out. But everything was around us. Like we literally in the heart of Houston. So I hear the little girl saying, Grandma, Grandma, wait for me. Okay, y'all ready? They'll say, yay! And 
this is okay. Scream and little boy to die. He was having the best time of his freaking life. He was up there. He had his, his little arms out like this. His arms were just out. He was like this. I was looking at him. He was having the best time of his freaking life. I was like this. Oh my God. And then when they stopped, she would clap. She's like, oh my God, y'all did so good. Y'all did so good. But you gotta scream louder. I told Nadine, I said, I'm about to call the police. <laughs> It smelled just like movie popcorn. Okay, you gonna be okay. 
have moved there. I would not have moved in that freaking place. And then, when you're trying to get them to notice, you gotta tell you gotta move. One reason why I move, because of that screaming, hollering, uncontrollable kids. A child, what? Now, I hear kids holler all the time. I hear kids holler. I hear them curse. I hear them be bad. I hear kids do all, all kinds of things all the time. But what I don't hear is freaking kids hollering and crying every like 20, 30 minutes. I'm just crying till they can't cry no more. But yeah, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> for the popcorn. I hope you enjoyed the story time.